Paul Blackburn, Polly Punchout, aka Polly Goose Eggs, right now because he has been slicing and dicing and dominating. So Brendan Donovan, 0 for 8 in this series. As that one's whacked into straightaway center, Ruiz will play that on a hop and a good start for Donovan. His first hit of the series gets things started in the St. Louis first. And that'll bring up Paul Goldschmidt. One for seven is he in this series. Donovan starts, then stops, and it's ball four. A single and a walk sets it up for Lars Newtbar. 1-1. One, one. Right to Hernays, checks back the runner, goes to second, Geloff to first, and they got him. And the Cardinals are going to challenge this. The footwork here at Geloff, ball in the glove, foot on the back, nothing doing there at second. He gone. Thanks for coming, Goldie. Let's move on over to first. No to holding the bag. And they might have a conversation about there. After view the ball. That's a great turn by the green and gold and an unfortunate turn of events for the St. Louis Cardinals as they lose their challenge here in the top of the first inning. Well, that big left-hander goes by the name of Steven Matz, and he'll be making his fourth start for the Redbirds. He hits in the air hard to left center field. That's going to split a gap and go to the wall. Tyler Nevin into second base with a one-out double, and the A's start off hot in the bottom of the first. Zach Geloff bats. He's two for eight in the set. Swing and a miss. That takes care of Geloff on three pitches. Runner at second, and now two outs. Shea Langeliers, who had the night off last night, popped up into right field. Newt Barr is underneath. Glass is gleaming, and Matz works around the one-out double. It is a beautiful day in the East Bay. Nolan Gorman leads off. 2-2 to Gorman. Swing and a miss. Caught him on the inside, and the cutter hits the first strikeout of Paul Blackburn's afternoon. Unsure, not sure. I think I want to know I don't. Why did I? That's that's what's going through the head. Two strikes to Ivan Herrera. And he'll take strike three. Back to back K's for Paul Blackburn. So Mason win. 362 average. 3 2 pitch. Called out on strikes. Paul Blackburn strikes out the side in order. Hard shot. Diving play by Gillock. The throw to first. He got him. What a play. Zach Geloff and a 1 2 3 inning for Paul Blackburn. Little bullet from Paul Goldschmidt. Zach Geloff ranging at an angle back over to his left. Yeah, Paulie likes it. Lead off walk for Max Schumann and he'll turn it over to the top of the order with Estery Ruiz, round two after popping out. Ruiz, high drive, left field, diving back. He's done it again. Right on time. The thought of a guy like Estery Ruiz turning home plate into scoring position for himself is a very, very scary thought. When you think about the speed, just looking for that mistake, and he got one. Open up and let the hips fly. That ball is leaned on. Paul is set down seven straight. That's hammered into right field. A good start for Newt Barr. So he's one for two. That's the second Cardinals hit. And Blackburn to the stretch for the first time since the first inning. So see ball hit ball I guess is the strategy for the moment for St. Louis and he does shoot it to right field a base hit Cardinals have him first and third ball bobbled and a late stop sign put up by Pop Warner as Nevin had that kick off the heel of his glove. So on cue Nolan Arenado gives the Cardinals a chance first and third with nobody out. This ball is middle in and Nolan Arenado pulls his hands in to take it that way. Now all of a sudden you got something cooking against Blackburn. So Contreras is up he tapped up the middle his first time up. Breaks his bat lines it over third base hit Cardinals are on the board. Here comes Arenado to third Contreras goes to second three straight Cardinal hits and Blackburn is human after all it's a two one game. Well Contreras continues the hit streak now at 11 games 23 games on base and just muscles this thing maybe broke his bat even but serves it perfectly down the left field line. Now Herrera is your batter. Up the middle there's a base hit. Arenado scores. Contreras getting waved around. Here's the Ruiz throw. It is going to be late. Herrera with a two run single and the Cardinals have their first lead.
Well, it's Yvonne Herrera coming up big again. We've talked about how much he's been hitting the ball hard. Chip, this is a rocket right back up the middle. Didn't pull the trigger on the first fastball at the top of the zone, but got a cutter to drive in a pair. You could see Blackburn, once that ball scooted past the mound, turn and punch his glove in frustration. He missed his spot and paid the price. Ground ball to short. We'll see the gun here. And Daryl Hernandez beats it out. Just that bobble, that one little tap of the glove from Mason Wynn is all Daryl Hernandez needed with his hustle down the line right here was the difference between the infield knock and a 6-3 put out. That one kicks away from Herrera and a good read by Daryl Hernandez advances him to second base. And the A's have the tying run set up at second. One, two. Little floater into left center. It's going to drop down. Ryan Noda snaps his hitless streak, claps his hands, and the A's now have him set up on the corners. This guy is good with runners in scoring position. In the air toward right. And Mets is out of it. What a job. Three to two, St. Louis. Tyler Nevin up. Had a double earlier today. Knuckled into right field. Tyler Nevin offensively getting better and better the more trips to the plate he gets. Ground ball up the middle. Geloff gets a base hit. Back to back singles. And again, third, fourth, and fifth innings have had leadoff base runners. And then a hit for the second batter to come up. Well, we're at the third time through the order. Steven Matz against Shea Langoliers. Splits a gap left center field. It's going to find the fairway and go all the way to the wall. Nevin scores. Geloff around third. And Shea Langoliers has given the a four to three lead because watch as soon as this ball gets out to the wall hands get flashed there by Donovan who after flashing the hands goes in and retrieves the baseball and they indeed brought the runner back so I think what you'll get is Neville score easily Geloff back to third base Abraham Toro who's been held 0 for 2 right back up the middle Geloff is going to score and the A's have the lead with an RBI by Abraham Toro so now it's four to three Oakland had to wait another batter but Langoliers moves to third and you keep moving the carousel along. Hernandez had an infield hit in the fourth. Fly ball to left field Donovan ranging to left center he'll make the catch and it'll be an RBI for Daryl Hernandez now five to three athletics doing all of the little things correctly. There's a base hit for Contreras. That'll scatter him down the left field line. He's on his way to second, and the Cardinals are coming right back against Blackburn. Contreras back to back doubles. Schnolan Gorman bats. Hammer towards second. That'll get the runner to third. And Gorman is retired for out number one. Walker 184 average on the season. Slow start for him. Ground ball to third. Short hop, Hernays. Throws to first. And a good play by Hernays. Great team effort out there on the mound. Nick Allen shoots it the other way, a base hit. The A's hitters are seeing Cardinals pitching well today, and another leadoff base runner, Esther Ruiz, getting his fourth trip to the plate. Rounded to short, win to second. Gorman drops the ball, so off the transfer, there won't be a play to first, but they do get the lead runner. Tyler Nevins had a great day at the office. Two runner going, throw down to second. Goes to the backhand of Gorman, and Ruiz has a stolen base. 1-2, Nevin, line drive, base hit into right center field. That's going to score the sixth run of the game for Oakland, and they lead 6-3. Tyler Nevin, a three-hit day. Do work, Nev. Coming up in another big spot. Did a great job in his previous at bat against a left-hander, fighting to pitch off to the right side. More of the same here. Just doing a great job of getting up on plane with that pitch. And Esty, look, you move up 90 feet, you can see how valuable his presence is. How speedy sound. 99, Hundo. You know what Lucas Urseg is coming to the mound with. Well, he just got out Nolan Arenado with a 99 mile per hour sinker. 0-2, struck him out. A slider, a little bit of drop, and Urseg two in a row. Nolan Gorman 0 for 3 today. Defensive swing into left, and Ruiz is underneath to make the catch. 
One, two, three inning for Lucas Ursay. Well, I'll tell you right now, there's not a cloud in the sky, but there is thunder in the forecast. And ball four. So the Cardinals have something cooking here. So there's a start for St. Louis. Win two more walks today. One, two. Strikes out win with 100. Keeps it going. Fastball, fastball, fastball. That's K number one. The lifeline is Brendan Donovan for the Cardinals. One, two. Smoked him up top with 102 and the A's win six to three. Miller shuts the door as he's done so many times and picks up a save.